Hey guys, this is Maggie. Today is uh, Sunday and you are watching Seven Awesome Lesbians. Today I'm filling in for, um, for Sarah and she picked the topic and the question, um, let me read it really quick, it says, um, talk about a time when you lost an argument regarding either sexuality or gender, what was being argued, um, why do you lose, do you think you could win if it came up again, that kind of thing. So, um, I can't, I can't really think of, uh, of a time that was, like, specifically about, um, gender and sexuality or anything like that, but, like, there's this constant argument going on in GSA, I'm the president of GSA in my school, and, uh, there's, like, this whole, I don't know, it's, like, a lot of the kids in the club, when we we're talking about bringing up um, like LGBT issues and stuff like that in schools, like to other students, um, of oh, most of the kids in the club feel like we should go at it like really aggressively, like really hardcore, tell you why you're dumb and why gay people should have the same rights as everybody else. That's their approach. And I'm not like that. I mean, I get where they're coming from because like, I know it seems so obvious that gay people should be the same as everybody else, but I don't think that that's the best way to earn people's respect by, like, coming, like, attacking, you know what I mean? I feel like we should go about it in a more, um, more gentle way, I guess. Not, like, I just want people to, to get people's respect, um, and, and tolerance before we try to go in for complete acceptance if that makes any sense to you. Um, that's just how I feel like it should go, but all, all the kids, not all of them, but like a lot of them are like really uh, hardcore, let's get them, let's change everybody's minds, and let's do it by coming straight for them. <laughs> I just don't think that's how it works. The only reason I say I lose is because I just am like, okay, you guys know enough of this conversation. I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> if it came up, if it comes up again, I mean, I'm probably just stay the same. It'll probably be the same. I'll probably talk to like, <laughs> I probably get the advisor to help. I mean, I know that's kind of stupid, but uh, I feel like that's the best way to do it. Um, so, I guess that's that. Uh, <laughs> the question is, uh, what are the most like stressful things going on in your life right now? Um, I'm gonna sit down. Um, Right now in my life, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this online, but whatever. It's the truth, and hopefully something I say will help somebody. Um, lately, I don't know, for a little while, I've just been having like, like mental health issues. I know, you guys are going to think I'm nuts, but I don't know, at first I thought maybe I was like depressed or maybe I was like bipolar or something like that. I really don't know, but it's just getting worse and it's kind of hard to explain this, but well, okay. My mind kind of goes like this. It's like, you know those like reader boards on like Good Morning America, stuff like that, that are like just like a constant constant scroll um it's like I have two of those this is just how I think of it like one of them has like the thoughts that I can't help but think like that that constant thinking thing you know what I mean and then the second one is like like the the conscious thoughts like the words that I'm actually saying in my head you know like have you, have you ever caught yourself being like thinking about thinking and even when you're like part of you is like saying other stuff you're like still thinking about thinking I don't know if that happens to anybody else but that's just how I think of this but so it feels like one of those like reader board things is like knows that I'm happy and that everything for the most part is going well in my life but I don't feel it like I don't feel um I don't, even though I know I'm like excited or happy about something, I don't, 
feel it. Like I physically can't feel the emotions. <laughs> I just don't. Um, but so then I feel kind of bummed out that I don't get to feel the emotions that I'm thinking, I guess. Um, but it kind of goes the opposite way too. Like anything that's like violence or bad. I know it's bad. I know violence is bad, but I don't feel bad. So I just feel like it's funny. So that's where the trouble comes in. I mean, I didn't don't I didn't hurt anyone. I didn't I really didn't. <laughs> but I was like I just had like really violent thoughts and really like why did I think that? Why would I why would I do that? Why why? I don't know why. I don't know why I'm laughing about terrible things. I don't know why. But it just seems to be getting worse. Like, to the point that's like, if I had had a gun, I would have brought it to school. Not to shoot anyone, but I just would have. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I don't want to hurt anybody. I mean, I, you guys don't really know me that well, since you don't know me in real life, probably. But you've seen throughout my videos, like, I'm generally a, a, like, a nice person. I don't want to hurt anybody, but I just have these spots that really kind of scare me, and... Uh, like, the friends I've talked to, like, in the theater are, like, you're a psychopath, apparently. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to talk to my mom and see if I can get some help with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I probably shouldn't say this online, but it's really stressful <laughs> to be, like, I don't know. I'm just afraid that. Even though I don't want to, I might hurt somebody. It's not okay for that to happen. I don't think it's not okay to be like, I don't know. It's just not okay. I'm kind of, it kind of freaks me out. I, I, so that's what I've been worried about for a little while. Um, so that's that. Uh, I don't know. I appreciate, I appreciate your support. Um, I don't know, if any of you guys have any, like, mental illnesses that sound like this, just let me know, because at least if I know that it's, like, a, something that's diagnosable, I'll feel better. Uh, I don't know. That's okay. Uh, I hope all of you guys are having a great week. Um, I hope that I see you soon, and I love you all. I, I hope all your grandparents are healthy. I hope your friends are doing well. I hope you're doing good in school. I hope you're gonna have a great dinner because that's what I'm about to do and it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. Uh, I guess I see y'all soon. Stay cute.